Hello, friends. I feel strongly to share something with you all and I know that you have been aware of what is happening in Kabul in Afghanistan right now and I pray that you take this matter so seriously that we just link hands and um, bow down our heads our hearts our um, our bodies before God and we plead and we stand in prayer for our brothers and sisters for the underground church for the women for the children in Afghanistan last night we were in connection with one family that are currently there in Afghanistan and the wife clearly said my husband nor myself nor my children my older children will deny Christ we are ready because they are coming for us and the cries that we heard from the outside from the streets and the and the guns and everything was in the chaos that was happening it was such a terror it was something that I've never heard before and my heart was just pounding as we were on the phone and they were pleading for their lives they were pleading for help and of course we said what can we help you with and they said I kid you not we could feel the prayers we could feel the church praying because the boldness is arising and our faith is arising and we are ready to face what is coming and we were praying it was about 40 of us from 9 o'clock to 9 45 I'm sorry, I apologize for my appearance and for what I'm feeling because it is so real and it's so raw and it's such a reality that we're facing right now. And um, we were praying, we were raging a war, we were standing, we were declaring, we were praying for the women, for the children, because we know what will happen to them. We'll know what, what the results will be if they will be captured by Taliban. And um, we were just interceding we're praying for the oppressors we're praying for the government and we're just interceding so boldly and in fire and all of a sudden everything just stops the prayer stops and i begin to sing i know that this is a song because i just the melody begin to change and it's nothing that i've ever experienced before and i just begin to sing out words that, that i have no clue what they are but my physical body in such pain and it's such a despair and i begin to weep before the lord because i knew that i knew that i know that it was somebody else's last words it was somebody else's last breath it was the time when they get to meet their maker and I wept there for another hour. I couldn't sleep until like two o'clock in the morning and I was just in such pain. And today I've heard from Michelle that we no longer could get a contact with that Christian family that belonged to the underground church. We no longer hear from them. They're no longer with us. I urge every, each one of you we hear this message this is only one story but it's all over the internet so you cannot say that i've never heard that there is one duty that we could do as believers is stand with them and pray with them and intercede with them just link our hands one thing that really stood out to me last night as she was holding her toddler and I think he was about four uh, years old and there was a little girl about six years old she goes like they cannot make their decisions for themselves but clearly our older kids said no we will not deny Christ but she goes like I cannot leave my children to the Taliban I know what will happen to them I know what will happen to them and the fear and the pain in the mother's eyes I'm calling on all the mothers, raise up your voices, raise up your voices right now and plead with us and pray with us and intercede with us because we know that our brothers and sisters in Afghanistan, they need us. They need us. They need our prayers.
may God bless you and may Holy Spirit speak to you. Do not be silent. Do not be silent and go on with your business, go on with your life, with your pretty life, when you have roof over your head, when you have food on the table, when there's no war and no bullets flying. Do not be silent. God bless you.